Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a review of the new Bowling Night Stuff Pack for The Sims 4. I want to give you guys my view and my opinions on this pack and hopefully help you guys figure out if this pack is worth buying for you. Maybe you are not into the whole bowling aspect of this pack and just want to know if the build and buy mode items alone are worth getting this pack for. Or maybe you just want to know if the gameplay is worth the money. So. I'll be going through everything you need to know, both builds and buy mode, some cats as well as some gameplay. So I'll review the different categories separately and then at the end I will give you my opinion on this pack as a whole. So let's start with Creator Sim. So females, they have two new hairstyles. First this updo bun that I believe is very nice for formal events but not so much for everyday use. It is quite fancy. I don't like the bangs, although the texture is beautiful, but I cannot see myself using this that much. It's not worth it for me. Uh, but then we have this lovely, lovely curly 50s hairstyle. And the texture is amazing. I'm loving the hair clip. It is such a beautiful detail and I can definitely see myself using this hairstyle for everyday use and if it's all sims of all ages. So this is my favorite hairstyle of the two. As for clothing, females have six new tops. This one with the jacket is super nice and I'll use it a lot for my teen sims probably. Great great swatches and what I'm mostly excited for though guys and I think you agree is the crop top. It is freaking adorable, again, awesome for my teen sims. I'll probably use it a lot, to be honest. Awesome detail, I love the back. And uh, then we have this halter neck top, very 50s, a rockabilly styled, uh, but it does have some swatches that will pass as modern everyday wear, so great. And I freaking love the big button details. As for the bottom-up bowling looking shirts, they are cool and they obviously make sense in a bowling stuff pack but they won't really be used unless you want to make like a professional bowling sim or a club so no, some swatches are okay for normal wear but not a fan of these. Females also get one pair of jeans. They are fitted skinny jeans with a distressed texture. Uh, these are my favorites. The texture is fantastic, guys, and the swatches are great. They re do remind me a bit of CC, which I love. And they also get distressed shorts with the pockets hanging out. Also a lovely piece. I am so happy with these two items. Females get a skirt as well and I'm not too fond of the patterns, I'm not a floral pattern kind of gal. And um, the body outfit though, the full body outfit, very cute, especially for your teens and young adults. I am very fond of this item. For males, unfortunately, we only get one new hairstyle. It's very nice, I love it, but I think it's a little bit too similar to the other shaven hairstyles that we already have. So it's nothing new really, but the texture is really nice. Males, they get five new shirts and this military style jacket is my favorite. It is so cool. I'm freaking loving the patches and I feel it's gonna be awesome for sims of all ages. I'm gonna use it a lot and the open up shirt is also really nice for everyday wear. I see myself using these two shirts a lot. The swatches are great. Then males also get the bottom up bowling shirts of course and again I don't see myself using these but they make sense to come with this pack so I can't really complain about them but I, they are a downer for me because you can't really use them outside of this pack. Guys get no full body outfit, which is sad. They favor the females in this pack, but I feel like they always do. Men do, however, get the same skinny jeans though. I love it. It looks so sexy and I'm so happy. Guys finally got a real pair of skinny jeans. Both females and males also have a new accessory, the bowling glove. I don't know if it's called a bowling glove or what it's even used for, but it's there. And then they also have bowling shoes in different swatches, which makes sense. And they could possibly pass as normal shoes. So on to the kids and be prepared to be disappointed. The kids cast is just lacking. We have no new hairstyle, which is unfortunate. They only get the bowling shirts and the shoes and uh, you know how I feel about the shirts now. I'm just 
a little bit disappointed, but I wasn't really expecting kids cast, but still disappointed. So what about the builds and buy mode? Two wallpapers came with this pack. First is wooden texture that I don't like personally because of the color swatches. But the stone slab wallpaper, it is great and I can see myself using it a lot for my suburban house builds. We do have one new floor tile, very retro looking, but I'm just not a fan because it's not versatile. We have some new retro looking items. Having themed items could be bad though. They're usually not as versatile, but these items come in color swatches that could pass in modern builds as well. So these items could potentially be great for other kinds of builds. The decals and the painting I'm not 100% fond of. The painting itself is cool, but I wish it came with other motives and not just the bowling pins. If it came with other motives, I would have loved it, but it doesn't. And the decals, I'll probably never use them. Maybe in some modern builds, I can see some potential with them, but they don't quite inspire me. So that is that. And we also get a trophy shelf. Uh, it is a wooden texture and the cell shelves themselves look cool and will look great in bars and of course in bowling alleys. But no, it's not so much of a home decor item though, but I do want to try some move objects with it and see if I can somehow make it work. But we also get more wall decor items that do make sense to come with this pack but can only really be used in bowling alleys. Maybe they do have a place in other community lots as well. You guys can probably come up with some interesting ideas with these. Then we have this super awesome cool looking clock that is my favorite wall decor item from this pack. And it can be used in a variety of different builds. Then we have this awesome rug, different patterns and different swatches and colors. Not much to say about it except that it's freaking gorgeous and I love it. Can we talk about these hanging lights though? Uh-huh. These are my favorite items from build mode. I love that they are hanging in different heights. Finally, we get that feature in The Sims 4. It's freaking amazing and you can be so creative with these. I'm just loving it. Would have loved some more swatches, but I I am so stoked about these, guys. Same with these table lights. Amazing. I love them. Love the swatches. And I can see myself using these a lot, in, especially in suburban builds. And then, of course, we need to mention these super awesome wall lights. They are beautiful. The light they give out is beautiful. I love them. The texture is just great. Then we have this wall divider or screen or whatever the official name of it is. I don't know, but it's amazing and it will look super cool in modern builds. So we also have some shoe rags, of course, they make a lot of sense in a bowling alley and they were nice enough to make a piece that comes without the shoes, so it's useful for other builds too. And this bowling ball rack though, guys, you can actually change the color of your bowling ball, which is a super cool feature in my opinion, but you do need to level up in your bowling skill to be able to do so to unlock new balls. You can only pick one or two starter bowling balls, but it's still such a freaking cool feature. And then there's this bowling pin decor item that I probably will use a lot for my teens bedrooms and this trophy shelf that maybe your grandpa will be into or your dad. I don't know, but uh, I still think you can put it in homes. Obviously this pack comes with bowling alleys. Well, hello, but I will talk about those a little bit later. There's also a sign that has a really cool animation to it in game. It's freaking fantastic. The animation is superb. So what about the gameplay? Bowling is a minor skill up to level five. So just like the dancing skill, etc. And increasing your skill will of course improve their chances of getting strikes, learning trick shots and unlocking new bowling balls. The trick shot animations are fantastic. Well, to be honest, all the animations are awesome. If your skill is low enough, you can actually drop your bowling ball. And it's a super fun skill, but I do think you max it out a bit too fast. I think it should go up to level 10, but that's just my opinion. So different screens will pop up depending on how many bowling pins you actually down. And funny thing, if you miss all of them, the tragic clown will appear on the screen and that's just hilarious. Also, moonlight bowling is a thing, guys. At certain times, the lanes will light up in awesome neon lights. It creates like an awesome disco bowling atmosphere and it's an awesome detail to this pack. 
if you do have the get together expansion pack you can create bowling clubs and go bowling and bowling clubs will appear when you do visit a venue that has a bowling alley up to four people can bowl on one lane at a time which is amazing and uh, although they cannot paint kids can go bowling so what do I think about this pack? Well, we did have bowling in both Sims 2 and 3, but they came in expansion packs, so they weren't revolving around just bowling. And to give you my honest view on this, I think they should have made a sports expansion pack or a sports game pack. That would have been cool. But it is a stuff pack and it does add some extra gameplay. It does add an additional activity for your Sims, which is always welcome in my opinion. But I think a lot of us will get tired of it quickly. It is a nice pack though if you just really want that extra activity for your sims while you wait for another expansion pack. As for buying this pack purely for the cast or buy and build mode items, I would say it's worth it if you're into the whole mid-century retro look. Because these items are themed, they do have some limitation to them. You can't really use them in all of your builds. However, some items and some swatches do work for other styles of homes as well. Myself, I would get this pack solely for the cast and buy and build mode items, but I'm gonna be honest, if I had to pick only one pack, if I could only afford one pack, um, this is not my first choice. There's so many other packs that have awesome all-around items that work in all kinds of builds, but if you are looking for that additional activity for your sims as well, then I would recommend this pack. So all in all, I think it's a great pack, but it might get tiresome quickly. But I hope this review helped you guys. Don't forget to leave it a thumbs up if it did. And let me know in the comments what your thoughts on this pack are. And I love you so much, guys. And I'll see you in my next video.